Hello guys, welcome back to Just Lost JC. If I look a little bit tired, aka my eyes are puffy, that's because I am tired and my eyes are puffy. Don't judge me. So I'm about to wash my hair actually, and then I decided to do the video about my favorite silicone free conditioners like I promised you guys. So I'm actually going to put up right now a list of silicones that you should look out for in your conditioners because trust me, finding silicone free conditioners sometimes can be a hassle because a lot of them do not put on the bottle that they are silicone free. So here's a list of um, water soluble silicones as well as non water soluble silicones. You can check those out and then check out the products that you have and see which ones have silicones. Again, this is a part of the Curly Girl Method series, so if that's not what you're into or you don't want to do the Curly Girl Method, then go for it. If you want to do modified Curly Girl, I see nothing wrong with water-soluble silicones since they do um, dissolve in water, so that should be fine. And I actually have used water-soluble silicone sometimes, mainly by accident and mainly because I couldn't find any other product, so... Yeah, but these ones that I'm going to show you right now have zero silicones in them. So let us get started. Alright, first we're going to start with washout conditioners. These are the conditioners that I have the most of, and these are the ones that I use to detangle my hair, and it gets washed out when I'm washing out my hair. So an all-time favorite, like I cannot live without this, is this conditioner. This is Trader Joe's tea tree tingle I absolutely love this conditioner it has so much slip and I have to just give a big shout out to dear natural because she talked about this conditioner once and I was like what it's so cheap Trader Joe's is like all over New York I went and got it and I have not looked back definitely holy grail status zero silicone in there a lot of slip great price like it, what's not to love, you know? Like, what, what, what? Anyway, on to the next one. All right, so the next staple, holy grail, that I've been using for years and years and years is VO5. Everyone knows VO5. So this one is VO5 Tea ter Therapy Black Sage Tea Revitalizing Conditioner. Five essential vitamins for healthy, beautiful hair. Absolutely love this stuff. Everybody knows VO5 is cheap as hell, and I absolutely love that. So it's a great filler conditioner when I'm making DIY things or things that I want to add conditioner into. This is perfect. It's very liquidy, um, which I like in my conditioners, and it has enough slip, especially combined with the tea tree. Like, <sighs> moment of silence, please. I said, can you shut up? I give a moment of silence. Jot, metronogi. Alright, so the next conditioner that I absolutely love is Tresemme Used by Professionals Natural Silicone Conditioning with Aloe Vera and Avocado Nourishing Moisturized Conditioner. Now, what I will say about this stuff is I do not like it as much as those. This is in order of my preference, so I do like Tea Tree Tingle and uh, VO5 more. I don't use this that much. It's if I run out of Tea Tree Tingle that I'll get this, but it, it works really well. But it's just that like Tea Tree Tingle is bae, so like... You know, I just can't cheat on it unless I have no more, and I have to. But yeah, I absolutely love this. It works just as well, and of course, the price point is right in my budget, so I suggest this one as well. Next has to be Suave. So this one is Suave Naturals uh, or Orchid Petal Conditioner infused with floral extracts and vitamin E, or vitamin A. Um, I don't like this one that much. You could tell by how much I use of it. Mainly because it's not that it's not that it's bad. Let me just first say that. It's just that I like all the other ones better. So I have to run out of all the other ones that I showed you before I can get to this. And that doesn't typically happen because by the time, you know, I run out of one, I repurchase it. So I never really trickle down to this. But I do like it and it works well. It's very liquidy, which I do like in my conditioners. And um, when I run out of VO5, this will be my substitute for that. Alright, so the next category that we're going to go into is the everyone loves deep conditioners. Now, again, I don't consider myself a product junkie and I had not conditioned, deep conditioned my hair in such a long time. Check out my video of why my hair broke off. Yeah. So the deep conditioner, the one and only deep conditioner that I have is this one. I did a whole review on this deep conditioner. It is Shea Moisture Super Fruit Complex 10-in-1 Renewal System with Marula Oil and Biotin Hair Mask. Age defying, color protect, hydrate, nourish, soften, anti stress, deep condition, revive, body strengthen, and shine. Boom. So I absolutely love this stuff. Um, you are, as you know, in that uh, video that I did a whole review about this, so you can find out what I like about it, the way I use it in my hair. Love this stuff. Um, it's more of a protein treatment, definitely, because it has some hydrolyzed silk wheat protein, something like that. So it is a, more of a protein treatment. Definitely strengthens my hair, and I absolutely love it. 
Now, since we just talked about deep conditioners, I do want to mention some honorable mentions, DIY conditioners that I have. I'll link both of the tutorials of my two favorite DIY conditioners that I do in the description. The first is my banana baby food deep conditioner, an OG, an OG on this channel. If you knew when I posted that, you've been here like ages and ages ago. Like, this channel is not new, my dear. I've been doing this for a while, so... Check that out, I'll link it in the description box. And the other one is a DIY Ayurvedic conditioner. So it has a lot of Indian spices and herbs and all their like hair care stuff that I mix together. And I do that one quite frequently actually. Now I do that more than I do the banana baby food um, one. So I absolutely love that one too. So check those out if you want more moisturizing um, deep conditioners as opposed to the uh, protein one that I just showed you guys from Shea Moisture. Next would be the cleansing deep conditioners. So this one is a bit of a new section that I added in mainly because I'm currently on a hunt for a cleansing conditioner. I think I found it. Currently I am working on seeing if I like as I am. So this one is as I am, beautiful coils and curls naturally. Coconut co wash cleansing conditioner with tangerine, coconut oil, castor oil, saw palmetto, and phytosterols. Girl, I don't girl, I don't know. What the hell? I've been on a hunt for cleansing conditioners because of course I like my co-washing, but there's sometimes I just feel like my scalp needs something to cleanse it. And some people use, you know, sulfate-free shampoo. I'm trying to find a cleansing conditioner that I like, so that's why I'm gonna be trying this. Now, in the past, I used this. As you can see, I used it up. Girl, I used it up. This is also a cleansing conditioner, by the way, a co-washing conditioner. It's Pantene's Truly Natural Co-Washing Cleansing Conditioner. Instantly moisturizes without stripping natural hair. Oil enriched formula. Yeah, so I did like this, and I did think that it really cleaned my scalp when I needed, you know, something to clean my scalp and my hair. But, um, okay, story time. So, mm. my dad. Tell me why I was doing research on this after I have already finished it. Like, I thought I researched whether it had silicone in it, and it didn't from what I researched. But then I researched it again, and I was like, when I was looking to repurchase it, and I was like, wait a minute, wait, oh, wait a minute now. Nah. It does have silicone in it. And the silicone that's on the list of silicones you should not be using. So... <laughs> Basically, more of the story is I played myself, so that's why I got the as I am because I was like, no, because as I am, as I am, as you see me today, my dad, no, I don't, I can't, I can't, no, I can't, I was very disappointed in myself. Definitely shop at Target because you could return a bottle and they will be like, it's okay, boo, here's your money back, it's okay, and I like that, I like that a lot. But anyway, yeah, this one. How did I play myself so hard? Mm. Okay, last but never least would be the leave-in conditioners. I know this is where everyone tends to have a whole bunch of leave-in conditioners. Let me just get right into it. It is Giovanni's Direct Leave-In Weightless Moisturizing Conditioner for all hair types. Natural botanicals moisturize and detangle hair while infusing weightless body for easy styling. Mm. Oh my god. I love you all so much. I've been using this for such a long time. This is my baby, my baby. Thank you everyone for watching this video. I hope that it helped you out. I hope that I gave you every category of conditioner that you could be looking for. Some silicone free options that you too can go out and buy these whether you're doing the curly girl method or not. If you have any suggestions of silicone free conditioners, especially cleansing conditioners, leave them down below because everybody should know where they can find some cleansing conditioners and deep conditioners that do not have silicone in them. With that being said, I want to thank everybody for watching and I'm going to see you in my next video.